everyone, Fire Centaur here coming to you live from the virtual world of Second Life. And today I want to show you a few cool tips on scripting. Now, for those of you know, who know me, um, you'll know that I actually build a lot of tools inside Second Life for educators. And to build these tools, I have to um, program their LSL scripts. Now, if you look at this, this prim, this cube right in front of me here, I've got my edit window open and inside this edit window I can actually add scripts to this cube so that it does things when I touch it or if I run into it it will do things based on the script that I've programmed. Now learning about scripting can be quite powerful because with a little just a little bit of effort you can actually make some pretty cool things and guess what scripting is actually not that hard so let's get started. Okay, we're going to jump right in and create a script. So first, right click the ground and just create a cube. Next, press new script. A new script will then be added to the inventory of that object. And look, on the chat line, your object immediately says, hello avatar. So this script actually already has code in it that's making your object say, hello avatar. Let's go take a look to see what that script did. If you double click on it and open it, you'll see that inside we have a special function called LLSay. And there it is, hello avatar. So when this script is run for the first time, this function is going to execute and hello avatar is going to get printed on the screen. Let's add something else. Okay, I, my script should now say I am hungry when I press save. So let's do that and see what happens. Hello avatar, I am hungry. So let's take a closer look at the script now. In the script you'll notice that some text is written in red and other text is written in blue. Now the blue text actually is describing a different event. Now in the script you can see that we have two events. We've got a state entry event and we've got a touch start event. Do you know when a touch start event occurs? Can you guess? That's right. When you touch the object, the, any code inside this touch start event will occur. So it should say on our chat line, touched. And there it is. It says touched. Now state entry occurs whenever this state called default is entered. So when this script first runs, since we only have one state, it says hello avatar and I am hungry. Now what the heck is a state? Well just consider a typical day. In a day of 24 hours we've got a morning, an afternoon, and an evening. So you could say that a day has three states to it, morning, afternoon, and evening. In the same way a script can also have different states. So let's add a state called morning and we'll add another state called afternoon. Okay, but in the afternoon and in the morning state, we actually have to add a state entry, otherwise nothing's going to happen. So I'm just going to copy this to here, and instead of LL say hello avatar, I'm going to say it is morning, and in the afternoon state, I'm going to say it is the afternoon, okay? But how do we jump from state to state? How do you move from one state to the other? Good question. Why don't we add a touch start event to morning state? Okay, so when someone touches this object when we're in the morning state, what we're going to do is we're going to jump to the afternoon state. And when we're in the afternoon state, if someone touches it, we're going to jump back to the default state. Okay? And in the default state, when someone touches it, we're going to jump to the morning state. Okay. So let's just quickly review the script. We've got a default state that says, hello avatar and I'm hungry. Then we've got a touch start event. So when any, anybody touches it, we're going to say touched and we're going to jump to the state morning. And then it's going to say immediately it is morning. And then when someone touches it, it's going to jump to the afternoon. And then in the afternoon state, it's going to say it is afternoon. And then, and then when someone touches it, it's going to jump to state default. So let's see if, and if that actually works. 
Okay, save complete. Let's see what happens. Okay, immediately it says, hello avatar, I'm hungry, so let's touch it. Aha! It says, it is morning. That's because we jumped to the morning state and the state entry event was triggered, so it says, it is morning. So when we touch it, let's see what happens next. Okay, now it says it is the afternoon. That's because we entered this state, the afternoon state, and then it said in the state entry, it is the afternoon. And we touch it again, what do you think it's going to stay? 10 points if you guessed Hello Avatar, I'm hungry. Let's click it and see what happens. Hello Avatar, I am hungry. And if we touch it again, it should say touched. Ah, it did. It said touch, but it said it is morning first. So it should have actually said touched first, but if your sim is laggy, the LL say messages may take time to actually reach your avatar and therefore be out of order. Okay, so that's your basic scripting. That's how a script works. We've got states and we've got events and we also have functions. And the things inside the functions, these are called parameters. Now in this lesson, I showed you about the LL say function, but there are actually a bunch of other functions that you can add just by going to the Linden Lab wiki and searching for LSL functions. If you do that, you'll find a whole library of different functions you can add to your scripts that make them do really cool things. And actually, when I script, I usually leave this window open so I can easily refer to it uh, when I need to. And you can actually learn quite a bit just by, by clicking on them and exploring what these functions to do. So I urge you to take a look at the Linen Lab function wiki and come up with some really cool things. So thanks for watching. This is Fire Centaur signing out. Thank you.